this is some sort of semi sticky stuff I believe that you can well to a certain extent mould I imagine and it's supposed to be well it's a, <laughs> sorry it's suggested that it's for cleaning out keyboards but I suppose you could use it for cleaning out almost anything it's got a couple of like cuts on the top there which make it well as you see quite easy to let me some of it to get us because I am on camera seems like there's a bit sealed let's try and separate Ooh. yep let's put my fingers in it feels a bit like hair gel that's my very Got quite a pleasant smell, like some hair gels can have. Let's have a look, see if I can, can I tip this out. There's a ball of, there's going to be a ball of gooey stuff in there, slime. How do you get this out of here? Try and rake in. It's very well, it's cold, it's gooey a bit, it's not too sticky. Yeah, yes, it's very slimy, like kid slime, I imagine. As I pull this out, it's pulling it out from the bottom. So I'm going to keep going now. What can you do with that once you've used it? I don't know. Try and stick it back in this bag. Let me have a look in here. Yes, yeah, so it sticks a bit. But not too bad. Let me try and roll this ball up a bit. Now let's try it on this keyboard. I haven't cleaned this keyboard for a while. And really the suggestion that you push down, press it into all the nooks and crannies in between the keys. And then lift it up. I'll try and lift it up from this side. Got quite a pleasant smell to it. Can't see any major muck on that. Let's try this edge. This edge looks a little bit like it's got a bit of dirt in it. So I'm pushing it, trying to push it into between the keys here. you see I'll give that a second or two it's a bit sticks all it tends to stick makes my fingers feel tacky even though there's there's tiny bits on here or still on my fingers let's try pulling this off now pulling it off is seems a bit not as easy as suggested there's still muck down here can't see any dirt picked up on this. I think it, to be honest, I do think it's picked. There's a tiny bit of dirt in the corner here. I doubt if you can see it. That's what I'm going to try and get out. And there seems to be a bit of dirt along the bottom of the space bar. try just no 
that's not bringing that out. Normally I just tear my keyboard upside down and then give it a few bangs or something like that to try and shake any out. To be honest it feels quite slimy. It's got that like bit tackiness to it. So I'm basically trying to almost roll this along here. Do I think it's bringing any dirt out? To be honest, not really. Not impressed. Mm, it's got a really nice smell to it, I must admit. It seems to be going into the grooves in between the keys. Okay. Let me try doing it a bit like this. Let me try pressing the space bar down so it's not having to go so far and almost forcing it into the groove, which is. It feels like one of these jobs which is not the most pleasant of tasks in a way that. It's all gooey and sticky on the fingers. See, there's some on my finger there. On my fingers. I can dab it off. A bit like uh, you can use blue tack. It seems almost very wet, but it, it leaves the... Uh, keyboard dry now that's formed a very thin sheet and there's still some left on there so I'm dabbing that off can you see any dirt on it slight bit there there's a slight I think there's a slight bit in there To be honest, I'd rather turn this keyboard upside down and give it a few bangs like I normally do, one might normally do. Oops, just a second, my wife's getting caught. Bang it in one corner and you see some probably bits of dead. Bang it in the other corner. That gets quite a lot of the dead out. Now there's a tiny bit of dead here. I'll try and zoom in so you can see it. I don't know how well that will work, but take my word for it. And I'm going to go after that. If it doesn't get that, then... And it feels like it sticks to your hand. It, well, it does, certainly. It's tacky. Let me try and roll it back into a bit of a ball. Because it's getting a bit of a nuisance when it's like that. Let's see. The first jab I did there it certainly did not do anything. I'm pressing the space bar down when I'm doing this. I'm pushing it as much as I can. Ah yes, it's brought that out. But there's a bit of blue, it looks like blue filament I think off my 3D printer stuck down here. Let me try and if it gets that out. And I think it has, yes it has. There we are. I think is our bubble. It's a piece of dirt. And once this gets a certain amount of dirt on it, obviously it's you know going to go past its sell by date. What's my impression? Very gooey, sticky, like I imagine kids' toy slime. Let's try and pop that back in the bag. This is a, like a Ziploc, I think they call called Ziploc bags that you press the top together so you can keep it reasonably clean. There's still some on my thumb there. So I'm just tapping it. And there's still strands sticking on my fingers. Uh, 
Right, that's, that's okay. I am not impressed to be honest with you. That's my review. I don't know if it could have any other uses. Let me try zipping that bag close. Yes, that works. Seems to grip there very well. So that's my look unpacking. Un look at this. It's meant to be for computers. certainly suggested it's for keyboards. I'm not impressed really to be honest with you. I seem to go in and out the key so much so it might be okay for small traps dead and kills gems it says so 